Welcome to this introduction to the skill set Address Foundation Skills in Vocational Practice. I'm Ben, one of the trainers in this course, and I'd like to show you in this short video how to navigate the course as it's structured slightly differently from what you might be used to. I'll show you where to find the content, highlight some key sections, and talk about what we expect from you so you can get the most out of this course. So I'll step you through the course now. Okay, so I've logged into eLearn. And I'm just going to click into the course now. And you can see the course starts with the common sections on the top left hand side. Um, and a, it, with a couple of additions, we've got the, the forum discussion up down here. But I'll just talk through each of these just briefly. The introduction has the, the units that, that we're learning and um, our contacts. Uh, details. So you can click on one of these to, to message us or you can come down to the bottom um, and just message us from here. Um, you can see that there's a welcome um, video from Jody, so please watch that. And the next section is the navigation, which this video will be placed in. And then the information is subject information section has the course overview. Um, so you can come in here and have a look bit more of a look at that. The subject guide, which includes the subject um, assessment and the schedule below. And this is quite detailed um, and you'll be referring to this, I'm sure, um, throughout the, the course. I would suggest that you do print this and, and have a, a hard copy of it. But it's, it's, it's in here if you, if you wish to just refer to it. There's a start your subject activity and we call this barriers to learning uh, and that the context is here, the activity um, listed below and uh, there's the video for the activity and then a forum post um, for your reflections. The next sessions are the assessment and you can see that there's a top level page with a sort of overview of that assessment task. Um, with the subsections um, of the parts that's within it below. I won't talk about the assessment now. Talk about that in a, in a separate video. The next one is the virtual classroom, and that has um, a link to the, the weekly tutorial um, and um, the session overviews here. We post that here, and the session recordings go down below. So if you miss a session, you can always come and view the recording. The next session is, uh, section is the forum discussion. And here um, we post the weekly topic discussions in, in this one here. So please um, refer to those for your discussion topics. So while we're still in this section, I'd just like to point out that this course is um, still in its infancy and we're still tweaking and adding to it. So we really appreciate your feedback um, so we can you know, improve on the course. And the way you can do that is to um, post your you know, comments and suggestions to this forum called Share and Discuss Course Feedback and Ideas throughout the course. Um, so you, know, you can help improve the course for us. So next up is the, um, the course content sections, and they're divided into four main topic areas based on the two units of competencies. Um, and they're organized sequentially. So it's structured to reflect the, the content covered in the schedule. For instance, um, in this section, this first section called foundation skills, um, there's a, I just scroll down, there's a summary page or an overview, if you like, that outlines the, co the topics covered. And this structure is reflected in these subsections that you can see, and I just move myself out the way, in this, these sections here. If we look at the first two sections, um, LL&D and Introduction, LL&D and Learners, and then we come up to the um, subject information and go to the schedule, you'll see that they are reflected here in the content um, that needs to, or the learning focused area 
that needs to be um, you know, covered for that week. Okay, and then you'll see how um, the rest uh, are covered sequentially after that. Okay, so if we come back to the content sections, go to the first one, and you'll find an introduction to the topic, and I'll scroll down, topic summary, the learning resources and activities below that, and the type of activity um, and resource, resource will be indicated by the name. You can see here, a book and feedback that just helps you identify the activities and resources. Um, and, you know, if you come down, the book is below. And I'll just click into one um, and you'll see um, there's a number of pages to go through. Um, and in here, you can see that we've added a an ebook summary quiz, and we're progressively adding those to the books as we develop this course. And you'll find um, also videos and links to pages and quizzes, forums and journals um, throughout the course. Okay, so I'll just exit this book, come back to the course. All right, so that leads me um, into uh, the format of delivery of this course. It'll be run as a flipped model, which means you access the learning um, and do the activities before we meet for the tutorial. So you're expected to work through the content at your, in your own pace and complete the weekly activities, which will be posted in the general forum. I'll just minimize and just emphasize that... Um, so, you know, so please refer to this detailed schedule for guidelines, you know, for each week's topics, um, forum discussions and the, the, the focused assessment tasks. Okay, but of course, how much you cover of the content may depend on your existing knowledge and experience of the topic um, or the content and, um, of course, your interest. So, you know, you can decide which sections you, you know, want to learn um, more about or focus on. And of course, the, you know, the, the, the extent to which you do delve into and explore these topics is entirely up to you. Um, however, we recommend that you try allocate a minimum of one to two hours per week, you know, to cover the overall learning and activities and assessment. Okay, the final section I want to talk about is the shared resources. Um, and I'll just come down. There's a, um, a shared resources section with a database. And this is for teaching and learning PD resources. And um, the I, this resource is um, for everyone to you know, access and add resources to. Um, it has some resources already, and I'll just open that so you can have a look, um, you know, which was added to from the participants from semester one. And so the idea is to build a, a bank of really useful PD on LLND and resources, of course, um, that we can all access and benefit from. Um, you can see, you know, I've added some resources or PD activities on numeracy that I've participated in recently and the the video resources are available. I can and I can just show you what what's here. There's the link to, to one of the videos. And um, I guess this idea of um, sharing professional practice and participating in PD um, and you know um, linking to resources is, you know, is fundamental to this course um, and does link to part of your assessment too. So we you know, encourage you to have a look, access any of these, you know, resources that are of in, interest of you, to you and share any um, PD and resources you come across and find useful that you'd like to share with others during the course. So, oh, and then there is a just, if I go back out, a video on um, how to add an entry into the database just to, to, it's a how-to video just to help you get started there. 
All right, so finally, we just did like to encourage you to explore the course and get familiar with the content, its layout and structure. It's a little bit different from what you might be you know, used to. So pl please feel free to contact um, either Jody and myself through the, the messaging function in eLearn um, and post a question, you know, um, in the general uh, the forum discussion um, because your question might be useful um, to others in the course as well. So I hope you enjoy this course and we look forward to engaging with you um, in the tutorials in the coming weeks. Thank you.